Hi, I'm Tamara Davison, and I want to welcome you back to my kitchen and to summer. It's a heat wave out there, and with the heat comes lots of good things, and zucchini is going to be coming on strong, so I thought I would share with you a new recipe that I've discovered that's really easy. They're called Herb Egg Zucchini Muffins. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to do is turn your oven on to 350. Let that heat up while you prepare the rest of the ingredients. So we need a, um, a cup of zucchini. So that would be about, I'm guessing, a small one. But I'll start with this medium-sized one and grate it. So don't peel it, use the skin and all. Um, and as you can see, zucchini are very, very juicy. So you don't want to really use more than a cup of zucchini because otherwise um, your muffins might be too large and runny. All right, so there we have a cup of zucchini. So the next step is to turn your um, burner on. Add a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm not measuring, I'm just gonna guess what a tablespoon is. Add your zucchini. And just saute that for a few minutes. That's starting to sizzle. So that liquid is starting to evaporate. It'll get a little translucent like an onion cooking. So zucchini is very healthy. It's full of vitamins, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. So the thing that really gives these egg muffins a boost is the herbs that we're gonna use. And I grow herbs in my garden. I love fresh herbs. Um, so I, I use them quite regularly in the summertime. And quite often I'll pick them and then I'll put them in water and then I'll, if they're not convenient to run and pick, then you've got them right at your fingertips. Uh, this recipe calls for three different herbs. Um, you can use any two of the three, but I think chives are very important because they'll add a very mild onion flavor, and the thyme is especially good with the egg. I just love this fresh thyme. So I've already taken some thyme off the stems, and thyme is a little bit tricky. Uh, there's lots of different ways to do it, but if you want fr the fresh flavor of thyme, then, then um, what I usually do is just grab a hold of the stem and run my fingers along the thick stem. You don't want to put the thick stem into the recipe because it tends to be a bit coarse. It's just the fine leaves that you want. So the easiest way is just to get a hold of the the stem and then just pull straight down to remove the leaves. But for chives, you can use regular scissors, but scissors is definitely the best way to cut up chives. So this calls for one to two tablespoons, depending how much of the onion flavor that you want, but chives are very mild and they add a nice color to it as well. Regular scissors work really good too. This is just quicker. So one to two tablespoons, that looks about right. And I'm gonna check on my zucchini. You can see how it's gone a little bit translucent and most of the moisture is cooked out of it. I don't wanna brown it. So we'll just let that sit for a minute while we get the rest of the herbs ready. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of parsley um, just to mix it in a little bit and then I'll just add a little parsley to the top of that as well. Now you can add your herbs to your zucchini as you're cooking it but I think that it's more flavorful if you cook, cook it first and then add it afterwards. I might have put a bit too much thyme in there. Really need only about a teaspoon. So last time I made this, I sprayed my muffin tin, and you can do that too, but I found they rose quite a bit, and it was a bit challenging to clean my pan, even with the spray. So this time, I thought I would try these parchment cups. Um, this recipe, it stores really well in the fridge for at least three to four days, and it also freezes really well. So I think that the muffin cups will help separate it in the freezer if that's what I decide to do. It makes a good size 12 of them, um, which is too many for us to eat at one sitting. But they're, they make an amazing egg sandwich. 
and like I say they store really well so so that looks about right really simple ingredients in these egg muffins um, zucchini of course and the cha at the chives and the thyme are the star ingredient and then we've got eggs cottage cheese and uh, cheddar cheese you want to make sure that you use sharp or old cheddar cheese because it has a lot more flavor eight egg all right there's our eggs we don't need to stir them up because we're going to blend everything together one cup of cheddar cheese and i'm going to save a little bit just to sprinkle on the top so you want to make sure that it's a good cup And then we also need a half a cup of cottage cheese. And this helps bind the eggs together and helps keep them stay really nice and firm. So we have a half a cup of cottage cheese. Next, we're gonna have a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt. Looks like about a half a teaspoon. And a little bit of freshly ground pepper. And that's it. I'm doing it in a blender, but you can beat them by hand or you can also use a, um, a food processor. I always struggle pouring it directly out of this into the egg, so I'm just going to transfer it into a measuring cup that has a better spout for pouring. Keep stirring it while you're um, filling your muffin cups because the cheese does tend to settle on the bottom a little bit, so give it a stir every now and again. You can see the, the, the last two are going to be quite a bit more cheesier than the first two. So if you don't have them evenly dispersed, feel free to grab a spoon and uh, transfer it around a bit because then they'll cook more evenly if you have the same amount in every one. Alrighty, now I'm going to just take that little bit of cheese that I set aside, sprinkle a little bit on top. This is more for looks than anything because there's quite a bit of cheese in them and they really do add to the flavor. And then just a sprinkle of fresh parsley. Our oven should be heated up and they bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, you'll be able to just touch the top and make sure they're set nicely. Oh, there goes the timer. Let's check on see how these egg muffins are doing. There they are. Don't they look great? I think they are ready. Should let them cool in the pan for a few minutes, but if you're gonna have them for supper or lunch, eat them warm. They're absolutely delicious. If you found this video helpful, press the like button and subscribe for more videos.